against the wall in this one, you know, tough outing in your previous bout. How much pressure were you feeling, not only before the fight, but during the fight too? Because he he did pretty well on the scorecards up until you. Yeah, I know, th I know, th I know that. I didn't feel pressure though. Actually, coming to this fight, I had less pressure than the first time because I love my life. I enjoy this. I don't want to let, let pressure uh, ruin it for me. I was gonna find my timing. You know how it is when fighters, when you train with somebody in the gym, you know their styles and timing, but in the cage when you meet a guy the first time, you gotta find his timing and his uh, what he does. And the first round he was so strong because he's a grappler, they go very aggressive to take you down and I could feel that. So I was like, okay, let me see what you got. He got me with a couple of good elbows. But in the second round, I felt him uh, fatiguing and I'm like, yes, I got him to the cage. I'm like, okay, he's getting tired. I was not tired at all. Yeah, I was a little, you know, of course, in the end of the round, but I was like hanging in there. I know I could feel he's getting tired. So in the third round, I was uh, getting to know his timing. I know he shoots, then he, no, I'm sorry, he hits, then he shoots, And uh, as I've seen in other fights. And me, myself, if you know how I fight, I have high knees. I use my knees very well. We practice that in a lot. See the footage of the UFC. We did a lot of jab knee, jab knee. That's all we did. And then I got the timing. I just threw a jab, he hit, he ducked, I need, he was out, I know he was out in the air. But then I went on him, I was like, let me make sure, boof, no, I'm not 100% sure, you know, he was out, because then I was like, he wasn't moving, then I just let him be, because the ref, I could see it in my peripheral vision, he was a little far away, I could have hit him a couple of times, but I didn't, and I feel sorry for the guy, because I see he was laying on the canvas for a long time, I hope he's okay, I don't wish anybody to end love like that, so I hope he's okay. <sighs> yeah. Oh man. It was. I actually wrote to the guy. Damn. First time you invite me to something, then I have to fight. So it was a bummer. I hope to get an invite. I never been to anything with the UFC. I feel like you always UFC has overseen me, because I was also very. Um, not furious, I was, uh, I feel let down when UFC announced my fight with Martin. There was pictures only of him, like Damir versus Martin, and it was a picture of Martin. Where's I? Well, I feel disrespectful. There was no pictures of me. Don't I deserve to, you know, get a, a little bit of spotlight? I work hard also. I came, come to knock guys out. That's my style, you know that. So I hope they will put my picture up next time. I think I need a little more recognition. Even though every bookmaker, as I said, they called me out, but paper don't fight paper. I'm glad I was the underdog because I have no pressure and I, I hope somebody made some money on me. Were you ever concerned about his uh, submission attempt? Not concerned, but I respect it. I know what jiu-jitsu is, I practice. I moved to a new gym with the 17 black belts. I know how tough they are and I felt his strength. Even though he does look the strongest guy, he was really strong. He attempted, I think, a dark choke or an anaconda. So I was like, oh, okay, but and then I... I put out of it, so I was okay. He went for a uh, heel hook, maybe a worded, I think, but I wasn't in danger. I, I, Arde Suave, my team, they, you know, I was prepared for everything. I didn't threaten at all. The only thing I felt was an elbow, and I was like, damn, am I cut? I felt like I was cut because the cut man came and I was like, blood, what the, but I don't feel like, I don't feel anything. So I was like, ah, oh, fuck it. So, but in the end, I was like, yes, I'm not caught. I'm not going to the hospital. Go to the green room to get some to eat, to enjoy the fights. Yeah. Did any opponent have in mind? Uh, honestly, no. I had my first fight against Taisumov, second fight against Held. Anybody that knows, that's two tough guys. UFC always give me tough fights. So, and I never, ever said no to any fight. So, when they ask me for an answer, I will say yes, no matter who it is. So, I don't feel I'm in the position to call out fighters. The top 10 guys are, I see all this, uh, I want to call out this, this guy. Forget that, I'm fighting whoever. Uh, I don't want to be that guy. Some of the Danes in the UFC have had a little bit of a hard time lately. I know with uh, Nicolas Dalby, also release. And then, of course, this event was supposed to be in Copenhagen, it moved over here, another blow to Danish MMA. How important do you feel your victory is, not just a win, but a spectacular, brutal knockout like this? Uh, first of all, I hope I get some 50 G's because I'm a poor fighter. I haven't fought in a year. I should have fought twice, but I had some bad luck, man. I've been scraping and scraping money to get this fight camp. So I hope I can get some help. Uh, 
to your question, yes, it was very important because it seems like now, the first time ever in Denmark, there's like the big media got the attention. As you see, these three ladies over here, they're from the biggest news in Denmark, like the Swedish Aftenbladet or something. You know? So first time ever, I, I feel like somebody's given to somebody so much attention in MMA in Denmark and they try to make it a real sport and not as people still see it as a primitive sport in Denmark because many people still don't know what it's about. They just think we're some kind of brutes and I'm here to prove them wrong, that we are good guys just trying to compete, who love the sport and the uh, MMA lifestyle, you know, so I'm very grateful that they are following me. And uh, as you can see, we have good fighters in Denmark. People don't know that. And I also represent Bosnia. Yes, that's also my country. But I live in Denmark, that's my home country. But Yeah, man, I have some good sponsors. My friend, Mads Christensen, who's also is a tattoo fashion, he has like these big brands. He always supports me. And this artist called Hunslet, he's a very famous artist in Denmark. So these guys, they support me, you know, of, um, financially. And then I work, and actually, I'm also an MMA referee in Denmark. So yeah, I, I, I also help develop the sport in Denmark. You know, actually next week, I'm gonna be refing this tournament, so I'm very excited for that. And I work here and there a little bit, you know, I don't know how much I can say. <laughs> I believe I can be a really good household name. I don't want to say this, oh, I want the belt now. Forget the belt, I'm not here for the belt. I'm here to be a good fighter, so people recognize me, see, hey, this guy's fighting. I want to tune in to see him fight. That's what matters to me, I love the sport. I'm here for the honor and glory, not the belt. The belt is just a, I don't know, it gives you status and spotlight, but it's okay with me. I don't need all that spotlight. I love my life as it is now. I just need some more money so I can live off the sport 100%. Then I'll be a happy man. Then I will fight my heart out in the cage. So, yeah. You recently switched gym to uh, Arc de Suave uh, in Denmark. Uh, yeah. uh, has this meant any change in your game or? Uh... Definitely, man. Arthur Suave is the place to be in Denmark if you want to. As I said, we got 70 black belts, we got Coach Kupti, we got Jürgen Kressensen, we got this new up and comers talents. You will definitely see in UFC, there's this guy, Mads Burnell. He definitely deserves a spot in the UFC. He's a federate um, man. You see, this guy's a black belt and he, I didn't feel threatened at all. In, in, I was prepared for every aspect. They prepared me so well, you know. Man, what can I say? Look at my performance. No, even though I lay on the back, yes, but it was—it's crazy to say. But we want him to fatigue a little bit out, because you cannot muscle muscle. And this guy, he goes very hard in the first round. Look all his fights, and people again underestimated me because he had all these Bellator fights. But this ain't Bellator. This is UFC. Okay, so yeah, I don't know if I answered that question. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, bro. Thanks. Yeah, I'm keeping talking to that.